Section 5.5 is going to be very short because we're not going to do the whole five sec, uh, Section 5.5. We're mostly going to just look at the different models. Uh, it's going to be important that you have these in your notes and recognize the shape and the equation so that you can identify them in the final. Okay, so there are five different models, and here's what they are. The exponential growth model, and you need to write this down. Um, the equations are to the right. The exponential decay model, the Gaussian model, which you guys know as the bell curve, the histogram, um, the log logistic growth model, uh, and to be honest, this is something we are living right now with a pandemic, uh, lo logarithmic model. And let's look and see what those graphs look like. So if you need to pause this to finish writing down your equations, do that. So you already know the exponential growth model. It's getting larger as you go to the right. Um, but the decay is getting smaller. The Gaussian model, like we said, is the bell curve that we've learned about here. And then there is the logistic growth model where it's growing exponentially and then all of a sudden it evens out. That is typically what you see in the middle of um, a an illness rate or dealing with a bacterial infection or something like that. Uh, natural logarithmic model is this one, and it's the same as a logarithmic model. It's just a special case of it. So those are the six models that you need to know. I would make... Uh, Make sure you have that in your notes because uh, you are going to use them for your, your quizzes and you'll probably need to refer to them and memorize the shapes of them.